the motivation guys what was the motivation behind the development of hive by the way hive is developed at facebook facebook was one of the biggest consumer of hadoop and hive was developed in house at facebook later point of time facebook has open sourced hive so guys if we talk about the motivation analysis of data analysis what we need to do and we need to analyze the data generated by both engineering and non engineering people the data is growing and growing fast the data is growing very fastly and current solutions are not capable not scalable they are very expensive and proprietary what about hadoop hadoop supports data intensive distributed applications however guys we have seen map reduce is hard to program on the other hand user no sql sql is quite an a standard language everybody knows it's very easy people know sql or bash or that is shell script or python they are very easy and there is no schema if you recall guys map reduce no schema we are getting data both in the structured as well as unstructured format and we are simply creating the directory and loading the data as it is there is no schema so guys there is a demand of top level a high level component which can process the data which can analyze the data with the help of sql like we can merely submit a sql query and it will process our data guys the main motivation behind the hive you can't deploy army of map reduce developer to solve all your problem you can't solve all your analysis job using map reduce you can't develop that many map reduce jobs like for each and every variation you need to write map reduce job what was your sales like take typically standard example sales reports monthly weekly daily across the globe region wise circle wise item wise item cluster wise loyal customers what exactly they like they are will you develop map reduce job for all of these kpis they are thousands of kpis and you will be needing a military of map reduce developers so guys that's not feasible that's why we need a solution we need a high level solution which can accept sql and can process can analyze our data let's proceed ahead so guys introduction to hive what exactly is hive let's understand it hive is a data warehousing infrastructure built on top of hadoop guys as soon as i take this statement that hive is built on the top of hadoop you should recall all the characteristics of hadoop parallel processing distributed computing fault tolerance distributed storage all the capability high will automatically get so it's on the top of hadoop for providing data summarization querying and analysis hive enables data easy data summarization it enables ad hoc querying so guys if we talk about few characteristics as soon as guys first point here what we discussed sql sql we should understand that hive can only support structured data we need to create a schema and we can load the data but hive can't support unstructured data access to different storage actually hive doesn't store your data later point of time we'll discuss that the data will be residing inside hdfs guys please note down hive is merely a top level merely a high level component which doesn't store the data now guys again another point as soon as i take name hdfs again you should recall all the characteristics of hdfs important point your query execution happens via map reduce guys very important point hive converts the sql query into map reduce job so we'll discuss this again in next few slide let's proceed ahead key building principles so guys sql quite easy language it's pretty much familiar language and everybody know about sql so 
one of the re main reason behind the development of hive apart from that its extensibility different data types functions formats scripts which can be reused performance the performance of uh, hive is quite quite good as compared to your uh, rdbms surely we can't compare it's much much better than rdbms and even the map reduce job generated by hive is also pretty much optimized so guys if i summarize hive hive is designed to enable easy data summarization ad hoc querying all your ad hoc requirements can be handled and analysis of large volumes of data data in the range of petabytes because ultimately it is a map reduce engine ultimately it is a it is utilizing the power of hdfs and map reduce hive what hive is doing it merely saving you from writing map reduce